We tested four high mileage oil filters to see which one was the best, from the capacity to filter out aluminum powder to their flow restrictions and filtering performance. We're leaving no stone unturned. If you want to learn how an oil filter works and find out which one takes the crown, then stick around. Three thousand miles or 15,000 miles. Regardless, an oil change is due. And know what oil you're gonna get. But what oil filter are you getting? Oil filters. Some claim they can filter 10,000 miles, some 15,000 miles, and some like the ones we're testing today are claiming 20,000 miles. That's enough to go from LA to New York seven times. Given they all have the same rating, are they all the same? Well, to test which one's the best, we built our very own oil filter testing rig. Oil filters have one job, and that is to remove contaminants and impurities from the oil, keeping the engine running smoothly and efficiently. So, why not just add tons of filtering media to filter everything out? Well, therein lies the problem. You still need to allow oil to pass through, and the more filtering media you have, the more restricted the oil filter is. A more restrictive filter will put more resistance on the oil flow, potentially reducing engine performance and efficiency. So to test what oil filter is more restrictive, we'll be taking a look at this pressure gauge right here. The higher the pressure, the more restrictive the filter. For our first contender, we have the Mole One Extended Performance with a price of $11.44, claiming to remove 99% of particles above 30 microns and protect your engine for 20,000 miles or one year. With fresh, fully synthetic oil and constant pump power, the Mobile One comes in at 21 PSI. Our next contender is the popular Fram Ultra Synthetic with a price of $8.07. It claims to remove 99% of particles above 20 microns and protect your engine for 20,000 miles. It comes in with a whopping 24 PSI, quite a bit higher than the mobile one. Up next, we have the K&N Select with a price of $10.97, claiming 99% efficiency on particles larger than 30 microns. Given this is normally catered for performance, we expect this one to do well on this test. And it does, 21.1 PSI, but it gets edged out ever so slightly by the mobile one. Finally, we have Walmart's Premium Super Tech at a very affordable price of $5.97, offering a 99% filtering efficiency on particles above 30 microns. The Super Tech comes in at 22 PSI. Very surprisingly, the Mobile One appears to have outperformed the official performance filter for NASCAR. The Fram Ultra Synthetic double layer fibers appear to restrict the oil flow substantially more than the competition. Does this mean the Fram filter is better than the rest? Well, we'll find out. For our next test, we'll be evaluating the filtering efficiency of our filters. To accurately assess their capabilities, we have meticulously mixed and portioned out four identical used oil samples into separate containers, each with approximately 18,000 miles of usage. In addition, we have taken a small sample to serve as our control. The testing process will begin by installing the filter and filling the reservoir with the corresponding used oil sample. The pump will then be run at a constant power for 10 hours, simulating a real-world scenario. This test will be repeated for the remaining three filters, providing a comprehensive evaluation of their performance. After the testing was complete, we collected approximately three ounces of used oil sample, packaged them up, and sent them to an oil testing laboratory for analysis. While we wait on those results, let's move on to our next test, which will be a filter capacity test. Before we can explain how we're going to perform this test, we first need to explain the inner workings of an oil filter. An oil filter is generally made up of five components. The outer casing, the O-ring, the filtering media, the anti-drain back valve, and the bypass valve. 
Under normal operating conditions, the contaminated dirty oil enters the filter through the outer perimeter. Then it passes through the pleated filtering media, where contaminants are collected and flows back to the engine through the center. The anti-drain back valve works just like a check valve, allowing oil to flow in only one direction to prevent it from draining back to the oil pan while the engine is off. This in turn protects against a temporary shortage of oil during engine startup. Some oil filters have a bypass valve located at the bottom of the oil filter. The bypass valve is closed during normal operating conditions. It features a calibrated spring that compresses and opens at a specified pressure. You see, if the oil is too viscous during low temperatures or the filter medium just becomes clogged, the bypass valve will open and allow unfiltered oil to go to the engine. You might think this is awful, and it is, but it's much less destructive than an engine running without oil. Thus, you want to ensure that your oil filter has a bypass valve. So to test each filter's capacity, we bought 30 micron aluminum powder. The same size most of these oil filters claim to filter 99% of. After installing the oil filters and putting in fresh clean oil, we started introducing the aluminum powder. As terrifying as this sounds, aluminum shavings of this size are very common in an aluminum engine block. To perform this test, we measured how much aluminum powder each oil filter was able to hold until the oil flow dropped from 9 liters per minute to 8 liters per minute and subsequently to 7.5 liters per minute. The Momo 1 took an impressive 33 grams for its flow rate to be reduced to 8 liters per minute and 15 additional grams to reach 7.5 liters per minute for a total of 48 grams. The Fram Ultra Synthetic held 33 grams until the flow rate dropped to 8 an additional 17 to reach 7.5 for an impressive total of 50 grams, just barely taking the lead from Mobile One. The KN was able to hold on to 17 grams until it dropped to 8 liters per minute and an additional 8 grams to drop to 7.5 for a total of 25 grams. This is half the total grams from Fram's Ultra Synthetic. And lastly, the cheap SuperTech Premium 19 grams of aluminum powder to drop to 8 liters per minute and an additional 6 to lower the flow rate to 7.5 liters per minute for a total of 25 grams of aluminum powder, tying the K&N Select filter. Overall, as expected, the Fram Ultra Synthetic had the highest filtering capacity given its double layer and finer mesh size, but the Mobile One was very impressive coming in within a statistical error of the Fram Ultra Synthetic. The K&N and the Walmart's Premium SuperTech appear to have the same filtering capacity, but way below the other. We took apart all the oil filters we tested to see how they fared with the aluminum powder test, as well as their build quality. The K&N Select appears to be pretty well built, with a rubber O-ring and a silicone drain back valve. The filter does not appear to be very contaminated with aluminum, as expected. The SuperTech Premium has a thick rubber O-ring and a silicone drain back valve. The filter does not appear to be very contaminated with aluminum, just like the K&N filter. The Fram Ultra Synthetic collected a huge amount of aluminum powder and did not allow it to pass through. Although a lot of this aluminum was found in the underside of the cap, where the drain back valve seals with the housing. Thus, it could potentially prevent a tight seal and lead to the oil filter draining while not in use. The Mobile One's design appears to be the superior one, not only collecting a huge amount of aluminum powder, but doing so in its filter pleats as opposed to interfering with the drain back valve like the Fram Ultra Synthetic. In comparison, the filter caps appear to all do the job and are built with very thick aluminum and good quality rubber gaskets. Fram's Ultra Synthetic K&N and SuperTech's bypass valves appear to be very similar and have an almost identical feel to them. As for the Mobile One, you might think it just doesn't have one, but it's actually my favorite design of all. They integrated the valve to the filter itself. As for filter media holder, the K&N has unevenly distributed filter pleats, but it also has a great inner barrel made out of metal. The SuperTech Premium, on the other hand, appears to have uneven filter pleats as well and an inner housing made of plastic instead of metal. The Fram Ultra Synthetic has thicker pleats than the previous two, as well as a metal inner barrel. The Mobile One has by far the most evenly spaced filter pleats, 
It also features a metal inner barrel and the integrated bypass valve. One of the things I like the most of this filter as well as the Fram Ultra Synthetic is the metal fitting they place over the filter joint as opposed to the other filters. Without this metal joint, you can have gaps in your filtering media that can allow contaminants to flow through unfiltered like this right here. We finally have our results back from the lab and they're really interesting. For our control, we had a total of 44 parts per million of aluminum, chromium, iron, and copper. Very common wear metals inside of an engine. The Fram Ultra Synthetics brought those numbers down to 37 parts per million. The Mole 1 was able to reduce the wear metal particles to 40 parts per million. Impressively, the Supertech High Mileage Premium tied the Mole 1 at 40 parts per million. And most surprising of all, the k n edged out all the filters, reducing parts per million to 34. After tallying up all the rankings, the Mobile One counts on top. Although it came in third on the laboratory test, keep in mind these results are parts per million. Its build quality, the exceptional capacity, and the ability to deliver this performance with the lowest fluid pressure made it our number one choice. The Fram Ultra Synthetic and the k n tied at second place. Remember, sometimes there is a trade-off between oil restriction and capacity. On one hand, a filter with a high filtering capacity is generally more desirable because it can remove more contaminants and impurities from the oil. However, a filter with a high filtering capacity may also be more restrictive, meaning it puts more resistance on the oil flow. This can lead to reduced engine efficiency and performance. So, how do you choose the right oil filter for your vehicle? It really comes down to finding the right balance between filtering capacity and restrictiveness. If you prioritize engine performance and efficiency, you may want to choose a filter with a low restrictiveness such as the K&N or Mobile One. On the other hand, if you want to ensure that your engine is as clean as possible and extend its life, you may want to choose a filter with a higher filtering capacity, even if it's more restrictive like the Fram Ultra Synthetic. Luckily, the Mobile One appears to cover both scenarios. Ultimately, the best oil filter for your vehicle will depend on your specific needs and priorities. Now, if you're doing some wiring repair to your car, you should definitely stay clear of some electrical tapes out there. Click on this video to find out which. As always, links are down below in the description. Thanks for watching and catch you on the next one.